Have you ever dreamed about going to every single country in the world? There's 193 of them, and we know a guy who's been to them all. Sal is only 27 years old, but just a couple weeks ago, he completed his quest to visit every single country in the world. Tuvalu, Eritrea, Nauru, Kiribati, Turkmenistan. What do you think of Antarctica? I have not been yet, because it's not technically a country. No, Antarctica is not a country. It's a mission that took over 10 years. I was studying all of these places in school. I was studying development, I was studying culture. So I decided instead of reading about all the countries, I wanted to see them firsthand. It was really eye-opening to kind of understand the diversity in the world. Sal can tell you firsthand the differences between every country in the world. The weirdest food I ate was probably bat in Palau. I've eaten bugs in Uganda, Gambia, definitely the best parties. The best airport is Abu Dhabi. The worst airport is probably Juba, South Sudan. There is no airport, it's just tents and uh, pieces of wood with rats going in and out. And the people. In Algeria, everywhere that I went, everybody wanted to host me. In Japan, if, like, if you bump into somebody, they say sorry to you. In Colombia, everybody wants to teach you how to dance. You will never be force-fed as much as by like your Italian aunt. Pakistan, everyone wanted to teach me cricket. When I was in Syria, I randomly mentioned that I like mixed nuts, and my host bought me six kilograms of nuts. But after seeing every country in the world, he's also got the unique perspective to tell you how they're all similar. Everybody dances, and it's really something that unites everybody. I think it's the most beautiful expression of human happiness. I mean, everybody really does just want to be loved. Everybody wants to connect with one another, and I think that you can always find a similarity. Everybody on this earth is 90% similar to you. When you travel, you need to look for those similarities. You need to connect with people on the things that, that unite you. Uh, and only after that should you really start appreciating the differences. So what do you do when there's no more stamps to collect in your passport? Passports. Even though I'm now done with every country, I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna continue to learn, I'm gonna continue to connect with people. I'm Salavalo, I've been to every country. Rally, Rally on! on.